my, my two cents on the black hole of like applying for applications, I would just try to go through someone first because other, like as soon as you apply for a company, I, I don't know if this is true, but you're in their ATS. So they'll see that they like, it'll have a status that says like candidate rejected. So it's like, that's going to always be the first status that you have with that company. And I've done it too. So I'm sure that's the status I've had with companies before too. Um, but I've seen the inside of these ATS systems. So I know that it says that. And so that's why I would try to just go through a different channel first. That way they're not just like blanket declining you because of whatever arbitrary reason right now, because they have so many candidates because the, the reasons for getting declined now for interviews are like all over the place. And I'll give an example. I had one company has reached out to me seven times now um, since they first reached out. Um, I've told them three times plus that I'm accepted an offer. So they reached out to me initially and it was perfect timing because I was actually looking for an enterprise AE role and they were looking for three to five years of experience. I have seven and they were looking for someone that's done president's club, all this stuff. I've done that. So I was like, oh, this is a layup. I didn't even get a phone screen. And the reason was they said that they had candidates that had 15 years of sales experience. And I, you know, and I pushed back on the recruiter. I was like, you know, A, you guys reached out to me. B, it says three to five years on this rack and I have seven. And they were like, yeah, but we want to take advantage of the people with 15 years on the market. And A, I don't like that phrase, take advantage. Like I felt like that was a nasty phrase for just uh, yeah. recruiting in general. But it was just funny to me. And now they've reached out six more times since then. Like, we think you'd be a perfect candidate. I'm like, you know, I probably would have been. So yeah. it's just interesting. So the reasons people are getting cut right now may not even make sense. Like that one doesn't make sense because I was above the years of required experience. And, you know, what I said to them too, I was like, I would be weary of a candidate with 15 years of sales experience. I guess that's accepting the same base as me. Nice talking to you. <laughs> so it was like one of those too. I loved it. But it's just something to think about too. Like if you are getting these rejections, keep in mind, like some of them right now are just all over the place. Like these are not normal rejections that we would have faced like a year or two ago.